Crime scene tape and bullet casings mark the scene of a recent shooting, one of 22 that took place over the course of just 72 hours in New York City. The incidents left seven people dead, this young girl paralyzed, and residents living in fear. And now, every time I open the paper or turn on the news on TV, it's shooting, shooting, shooting here, there, around here in Flatbush. You can't walk the streets anymore, you know, and the fact that you, you know, people are just firing, you have no respect for life at all. They're not even kill they're hitting the people they're aiming for, just firing on any anybody. The crime wave comes as newly released FBI data shows an increase in violent crime nationwide after six years of steady declines. Some of the more troubling statistics come from large cities like Memphis, Tennessee, where aggravated assault and overall violent crime are up more than 11 percent. Indianapolis, Indiana, where aggravated assaults are up more than 13 percent. And Detroit, Michigan, where murders increased by 12 percent, even though violent crime overall is down. Crime experts say it's too soon to say why this is happening, but it could have something to do with shrinking budgets and police cuts. Across the country, uh, state and local budgets have been cut and, and sizes of the police forces have been cut and the activity that the police are involved in has, has changed. Obviously, economic times are difficult, um, a variety of other factors. And so I, I would assume that what we're beginning to see is finally the accumulation of those factors building up. New York officials say murders and shootings remain down by more than 20 percent, but the recent spike is a concern. The New York Police Department has responded to the recent uptick in violence by deploying more resources into the neighborhoods, including more uniformed police officers and a massive show of force. The increase is a trend police want to stop before it becomes the new normal. Kristen Salumi, Al Jazeera, New York.